hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day or great night depending on when you're watching my video so let me go ahead and make this a little bit brighter and let's go ahead and talk about the first paycheck of march so when it comes to the monthly budget and this is something i'm going to have to sit down for because I didn't write anything out for the first paycheck so this is my monthly budget remember everything that's in red already has gotten paid but I'm just going to budget everything as if it hasn't gotten paid so that's what I'm going to turn over to this blank piece of paper and I'm just going to write everything out and just speed you guys through so let me go ahead and grab a sticker so when it comes to the first paycheck I'm going to use I've already used Tiana but I'm going to use Cherry Cherry B so we are going to stick her And with these stickers, sometimes they're hard to pull up. We are going to stick her right here. And I'm going to wipe this out. And when it comes to the first budget of March, course somebody is outside blowing the first budget for March is from the 9th through the 23rd of course when it comes to this video here I am going to edit some parts out that way it won't be super long and I also need to keep up with the time because when it gets close to almost a red flag, I definitely need to go. So when it comes to work. So for the income, I have work. I have work, extra, and rollover. So like I said, I had work, extra, and rollover. But when it comes to work, I am going to subtract offering. Uh oh, it's okay. So offering, which is the amount that I sent my sister so she can pay it in church for me. So when it comes to work, when I say this last work check was extra, extra low, it was extra, extra low. I mean, it was like 52 hours, if that. So overall, that amount was $881.26. When it comes to offering, this is the amount that I sent my sister so she can put towards church. So I sent her $100. When it comes to the extra amount, that amount is $250. Bucks. When it comes to rollover, so the total for rollover is $50.50 and I'm just going to write where that amount came from. So you remember when I had $45 left over from all of that money that I had saved in my checking account. So the $45 came from there and $5.50 came from rollover. All of this together and I don't think I'm going to highlight it. So all of this together, $881.26 plus $250, oh, I already messed up, $881.26. 26 minus 100 plus 250 plus 50 equals this amount when it comes to the total. So $1,081.76. Also, since I've been working less, 
I definitely can see how you're able to work with less than what you think you may have if you write out a budget for it. Make a budget for it, write out all of your bills, and just make sure that your expenses or bills are paid first, and then use the rest of it to make sure you have food, gas, all of that good stuff, and then you would just save what you have left. So when it comes to the expenses, I'm just going to do this here, and I'm just going to write in expenses e -X -P -E -N -S -E -S. definitely didn't want to spell that wrong because y'all know i would so when it comes to the expenses we're just going to pretend like we have some of these same bills here so we have at t we have nes which is the nashville electric service vandy which is vandy vanderbilt medical center and then we have cricket wireless And of course, I didn't spell where I was right, but I wasn't trying to, so it's okay. When it comes to AT&T, the bill for AT&T is 60 bucks. When it comes to NES, the full amount was $120, which is paid. When it comes to Vanderbilt, that bill is $66, $60, which I've already paid. When it comes to Cricut Wireless, that amount equaled up to $86.83. Now, I forgot when it comes to Vanderbilt, from my deposit account for the Vanderbilt bill, I'm only sending $15 to my account to pay the bill because this amount here for $45 is already in that account. So if we do have the rent, which I do split the rent, that amount equals up to $382.50 for half the rent. And when you add everything up, so 60 bucks plus 120 plus 60, plus 86, 83, plus 382, 50 equals, I'll just draw a line, so 7, 0, 9, 33. But in reality, I only sent 577, 50 to the account to pay the bills. When it comes to cash envelopes, so I'll just do this again, make a little, whatever you wanna call this, a little line, and I'll just write in cash envelopes. And draw a line under it. So when it comes to cash envelopes, we are not using mini cash envelopes for the next two weeks. So we are doing food, we are doing gas, we are doing given. Don't know what happened to that, but it's okay. So we are doing giving and we are doing HBA. And when it comes to HBA, that typically stands for health and beauty aid, but I'm going to add household stuff in there as well because I don't really spend much money on household stuff so HBA would be for health stuff beauty stuff toothpaste so any other household stuff cleaning detergent washing detergent all of that we want to budget for that as well and then when it comes to just in case I'm just going to switch that over to oh no and when it comes to food I am budgeting for 160 when it comes to gas I am when it comes to gas I've already gotten gas before making this video and that total amount for gas was $66.18, which I did send to Capital One. And I'll just write that. When it comes to giving, I am doing five bucks. When it comes to HBA, oh, also this includes laundry. So washing laundry would be included. So household, beauty stuff, toothpaste, all of that. So doing the laundry, all of that would fall under HBA. So I am doing 25 bucks. And 50 cents and the five dollars and fifty cents came from the rollover amount when it comes to oh no and that's just if I need a little extra cash for something we are doing 20 bucks and I'm just going to use this highlighter this time and I want to make a line up under so all of this equals to so 160 66 18 5 25 50 plus 20 equals 276 68. Now, when I do my cash envelope stuffing, I'm only stuffing 220 bucks. And the reason that I'm cashed up in 220 bucks is because this is digital, so we don't need that amount. And if we subtract that from the total, that gives 210.15 for overall cash envelopes. But this amount for five dollars, I actually sent this to Roth. And just took five dollars out of the rollover 
if we were to subtract that amount, we end up with this amount, 205. So next we have saving funds and I'm going to use this one. And when it comes to saving funds, the categories are travel. Then we have car maintenance. We always want to give car maintenance some cash. We always want to give travel some cash. We always want to give medical some cash. When it comes to Operation Move, since we are trying to move, we want to give that some cash. And then we have Extra Roth. And it's just a little extra cash going to the Roth account. So when it comes to travel, I am doing 20 bucks in cash, which is in this cash. When it comes to car maintenance, I'm doing 20 bucks. When it comes to medical, I'm only doing 10 bucks. When it comes to Operation Move, it gets 30 bucks. And when it comes to extra Roth, I am doing $15.15. And that total amount equals up to $95.15. And so 20, 20, 10, 20, 20, 10, 30, 15, 15 equals $95.15. And if we go through and just start at the top with the budget income of 1081. 76 we'll subtract 709.33 minus this amount minus 95.15 which I probably didn't calculate this right let me check So the 66, 60 cents is the amount that I had left in my checking account, which is just sitting there for the moment. So that's all for this budget, guys. The next video will be a cash stuffing. Great rest of your day. And I hope you guys can see that.